I'm debating if I even want to post this. Just because, you know, I want my videos to be helpful. And if y'all like, oh my gosh, she can't even get her own hair together. How how she gonna help me get mine together? Listen. Hi, my gang. Thank God it is finally wash day and I'm taking this bun that's been in all week. Try I had to cover up the kitchen because I don't even want to know what it looks like. But let's get into the first product that I'm using, which is the one, the only Aztec clay mask. Now listen, I started beef with someone on Instagram trying to defend this clay mask to the death, okay? Just one individual because please don't make it seem like I'm out here just commenting and fighting on anything on Instagram. This account was discrediting people's positive experiences with this mask and just telling their audience like, don't use this. And I just had to make my comment like, actually, I use this mask quite often and I've had really good experiences. With that being said, I totally understand if you've tried the mask, you hated the mask and you're never gonna use it again, okay? But I'm here to tell you, I've been using this mask for years and what I do and what I highly recommend is checking in with yourself and also other opinions on the internet, okay? It can be helpful sometimes. Please, please, please check in with yourself. It's just a quick little, you know, gut check. Do I wanna spend my money on this product? For me, this is just one of those products that I'm glad I did. I like to use apple cider vinegar with the mask for that extra, extra deep cleanse. And when I correctly use this mask, the results are just unmatched for me. Now, is today's wash day going to be one of those good experiences? We gonna see. We're gonna get into what worked and what didn't for me this wash day, but this wash day really brought to my attention, regardless of how you wear your hair, from the plethora of hairstyles that we can choose from, there is a price that comes with all of them. In other words, I believe there is no hairstyle more worthy than the next, even though one day I got a comment saying I think natural hair is for everyone and though a huge part of me agrees but I also have so much understanding for those who opt out of wearing taking care and being confident in their natural hair so I definitely am not here to persuade you that wash and goes are the way the light and the truth but quite the opposite as complicated as natural hair may seem, I challenge the idea that there is no hairstyle that is low maintenance, especially when your hair looks like mine or even remotely like mine. And trust, my hair has looked very different over the years and that's because of the level of care I've put into it. And that just makes me a huge proponent of self-hair care. The pressures of keeping up to have the newest, trendiest style, especially when we go out on vacay. What is up with us trying to, you know, do it up for vacay, who knows? But trying to copy and paste the hairstyle that you see in a picture does not show you the cons of that style. And I'm just here to say that quick gut check that I was mentioning in the beginning, let's do that before trying to book with these stylists or even try a style on our own so we can save ourselves a horror story. I use this mask no more than twice a month if that because it is drying and it is literally stripping the hair and because of that I keep the mask on no more than 20 minutes and then I proceed to my regular wash day but listen no seriously like rinse the mask out like rinse it rinse it rinse it very well that is why I once I rinse it I continue to clean it with a shampoo to make sure I got all that clay out 
And if I were watching this, I would just be like, you know what, girl, this just sounds a lot. This is sound way too complicated. Like, what? Let me tell you why I keep coming back to this mask. Being a wash and go girly, I am always stacking products on top of each other. And if I don't wash my hair every week, the product buildup is insane. So I like to do this mask every once in a while to really detox my hair, really get everything off of my hair. Starting on clean, fresh hair for wash and goes is the best way to start a wash and go. Just so products can do what they can on the hair rather than on top of other products. Also, the mask does such a good job at elongating and defining my curls. My curls are always just clumped and visibly less frizzy to me when I use this mask. But again, I don't overdo it. It's something that I just do every once in a while. I always shampoo twice because I know exactly how it feels to have dirty, heavy hair so I choose squeaky clean every single time and if I didn't say this enough please rinse this mask out rinse it out very well look at it if you don't have a mirror pull your phone out and just look not only can the mask be drying but shampooing can leave your hair just wanting some really good moisture super moisturizing deep conditioners like this one that leaves the curls juicy I love 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 dramatic I know but listen I do not play about my deep conditioners and this one is one of those ones that I the first time I tried it I just fell in love so definitely on my fave product list now this is when my wash and go took a turn without me even knowing because you know hindsight is 2020 I forgot to take my leave-in in the shower with me so I didn't apply it before getting out of the shower my hair ended up getting super duper dry like it just dried out super quickly or maybe I was doing stuff but honestly that's why I love applying my leave-in before leaving the shower because just in case I need to do something else I can have something marinating on my hair and it doesn't dry out like this and products apply to soaking wet hair just so much better that's why I apply my shampoo to soaking wet hair I apply my deep conditioner to soaking wet hair and I really just need to do better about applying my leave-ins and that's with any style even if I'm not doing a wash and go if I'm blow drying my hair out I love to just have my leave-in sitting in my hair before I start styling it I decided to do a wash and go that I love that I just I always get great results that I know I've done on this channel multiple times with the pattern stronghold gel and let me say this about wash and go combos i think trying to inspire like natural hair care is probably the hardest out of all of the hairstyles just because everybody's hair is different like no matter how much your hair looks like the girls on the screen our hair is unique to us and that's why i think i get so just gears grinded up when i see girls like oh i tried this thing and it did not work for me therefore you know it's not type for curly hair friendly i don't even y'all i'm still trying to figure out my hair type okay i'm low-key still trying to figure out my hair porosity i watched a whole video the other day and i ain't even gonna hold you i fell asleep because i just was lost and bored that's another video for another time i think so many girls give up on their natural hair because it's not looking like the girls on the screen but listen it's never going to i'm not trying it down the hair care university on youtube because baby it saved my life a couple years ago and it still is actually there's nothing wrong with getting your inspiration and your motivation from these beautiful women here on this internet trying to help and share their stories but you also have to apply your own action and figure out your own story figure out your own what you like what you love and that comes with trial and error and just doing what is that what what and it was worse, y'all. It was worse. Like, you can see, this is frizzy from me, like, trying to get out the flaking. Like, why is it, like, gunked up like this? Like, it's literally, like, how braids are when you have them in for a minute, and then you take them out, and then they, you have these, like, look, I'm literally, I'm about to show you, I'm about to show you. You have these balls of just like, what is that? Like, why is there just product sitting on my hair like that? I don't know. I don't know. 
I ranted for another five minutes or so. In the years I've been doing my hair, I've never seen my hair react this way to a wash and go. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned you know, I'm I'm low-key scared to post this. And that's exactly what was going through my mind when I was recording this. Like, do I do I want to put my failures out there? But ugh, it's such it's such a huge part of it. The point of this video was to just acknowledge there are positives and negatives to all hairstyles. Whether those cons of the hairstyles are presented to you or not. And oftentimes they're not especially if someone's trying to sell something to you sell a wig or sell certain products to get a certain hairstyle i'm not here to say you know one hairstyle has a greater list than the next but i am saying you know pick your poison the choice is yours and please don't let anybody take that decision away from you my decision just so happened to be to deal with my natural hair and sometimes get sucky wash and goes but i wouldn't trade it for the world i'm so glad and grateful for the path that i've chosen i love my hair even on the bad hair days look how cute these freaking curls are i don't even know i'm about to hop in the shower Ugh. because i know it was not the products I said, we're using the same exact products. I don't care. I need to prove to myself that it's not the products. And so what I did, I just got in the shower. I shampooed my hair with the whey shampoo, the detox whey shampoo. What I did this time was apply my leave-in conditioner in the shower and I applied a really, really good amount because I don't think my hair had enough moisture to put that stronghold gel on top of it. And I think the gel just on my dry hair reacted badly. And one could say it's the Aztec clay mask, but I really don't think that's what it is. One video I actually did have that problem where I did not rinse out the Aztec clay mask and I did have a certain type of flaking, but it looked so, it looked different than this. So I don't think that's what happened. But a really good alternative to this clay mask is the red clay mask. It's a lot more lightweight than this clay mask and easier to rinse out. So maybe I should switch over to that one or at least buy it again and try it again long story short i did the wash and go same products just more of that leave-in conditioner and i applied it to soaking wet hair and that was the only difference um and my curls turned out so much better just some more ranting okay everything i'm saying in this video i've already explained to you i just wanted you to see the hair and how it turned out as you can see, I have black on and there's absolutely no flaking. I shared so much in this video and honestly, I have so much more to share. If you liked even a little bit of this video, I welcome you to come back. I welcome you to subscribe, comment, say hi. And until next time, deuces.